Hello, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how the features of 3D models are used in New Heights. Let's start with a simple model, one of the holes included in the workshop tool. As you might know, 3D models consist of coordinates, called vertices. And three of these vertices can create a visible triangle, which together create faces. And the order of the vertices in the triangles determines something else very important, which is the direction that the triangle is facing. And this is called the normal direction. This is very important for new heights because we directly use the triangles and the normals from a 3D model to determine how it can be grabbed and how it supports you. We treat each triangle as a surface that could potentially support you when you grab it with a foot or a hand. When you aim or hold somewhere, all triangles in a radius around your hand or foot are collected and treated as possible supporting surfaces for that limb. So note that your grab range in new heights is much larger than your hand or foot in real life. Because otherwise the game would get really finicky and somewhat unplayable. Because with computer controls we don't nearly have the amount of finesse with body control as in real life. The full calculation for surface support is complex, but a few factors are the most important here. First, does the normal point toward or away from your center of balance or key joint? This determines if you can push or pull. The inverse support mechanic. Are the normals that you've grabbed opposite to the surfaces grabbed by another limb? And then the pinch mechanic, which is kind of like a local inverse support system. It checks how much the surface normals are inverse to any other surface normal in the same grab range. And there are many calculations that are not made yet and many that we will probably never implement because some of them would just cost too much performance, require too high density meshes or bring much complexity with little gain. For example, currently the game doesn't take the size of triangles into account yet. This has a lot of implications for a model. First of all, your model can't be too detailed. If the model is super detailed, any little hole or stump can count like a full jug. Because only the direction counts, and the game doesn't know that it's way too small to use with your whole hand. This not only causes lag, because it gets exponentially more heavy with more detailed models, but it also way too often returns a, yes, you can pinch because there's opposing vertices locally here, yes. The other extreme is also problematic, low poly models. When there's not enough vertices, the game won't know where you can put your hands or feet. For example, the default cube, it will only have holdable surfaces here at the blue lines. That's really not so useful. We've made a substitute for this, the base climbable layer. Objects with this layer will not generate surfaces from triangles. But when you target them in the game, a surface will be created on the place where you aim real time. That makes this model significantly less climbable because normally you want to use all the normals around you, not just one. For example, if you want to top out here. You've only grabbed the exact spot where you aimed, a part of the wall. There are no surfaces generated on the top part, so the system has no idea that you can just grab the top instead of the wall. Both of these cases, too low poly or too high poly, will be solved by us later, but they're not right now. Still, don't make your models too high poly because it will lag and it will make your models unpredictable about how good they will be climbing. For your existing models, you can decimate them or subdivide them in Blender or your preferred 3D program. But I do recommend to keep density in mind from the start, certainly when you use photogrammetry. Creating models with the right density works better than decimating them. For a reference of how detailed your models should or could be, you can use the holes that are included in the New Heights workshop tool. It also includes the Blender file for them, so you can experiment freely with them. That covers the most important factors of how 3D models are processed in the climbing system of New Heights. I hope you liked this video and that it was useful to you.